Hughes. Hey there, Razor. Dad's here. Don't worry, kid. I'll give you some help. I promise. So, the secrets of the anarchy barrel, huh? <sighs> I never heard about this before. Maybe I could get Miles to look out for me. Won't be that hard to look at these emeralds, right? You know that Majin guy's playing, you dumbass. What the? Who said that? Oh, let me guess. You're another scourge from another universe, right? Oh no, nothing like that, pal. I'm you, from this universe. Back when we're at the top of our game. Top of our what? What are you even talking about? I'm saying that I'm you before you went soft! <sighs> that other scourge is right, you know. You're weak, pathetic, and a disappointment to the other scourges. Oh, that guy? He's more pathetic than anybody. Plus, I already kicked his ass. Yeah, with help! You needed that Fleetway to help you win that fight. And not to mention that piss-stained Fleetway. You need the help of other Sonics to win that fight for you. Ugh. That fucker was gonna destroy the multiverse. Not only that, I needed to save... Save who? Your goody two-shoes brother Sonic? I still can't get over the fact that not only that you're friends with him, but you're brothers with that blue bastard! Back in that day, we hated him. We wanted to prove we were better. We were the evil Sonic after all. God, you sound just like Rosie. At least Rosie had a point! I've been sitting here in your brain for all day, throwing away your anti-roots. We were at the top of our game. We were the best, bad to the bone, most evil son of a bitch around. And now, look at us. We're nothing but a joke that can't even win a single fight nowadays. We done some pretty messed up things in the past, and you think you could take it all back? You think everyone will just accept you into open arms? Listen, pal. We're not Sonic. We're not that blue boy. We're nothing like that goody choose shoes And you're just ruining yourself just to try to be him. We never saved anyone in our lives. And you really think you could save that little runt? Don't you dare talk about my son like that! Then tell me why! Why'd you make the change? Why switch sides now? You even know you know it's gonna bite you in the ass in the end of the day. Fine. If you really want to know why I made the change, I'll tell you why. All my life I've always been told what to do, whether it been my dad, Alicia, or someone else. With all the torment I've gone through, I had no reason to change sides back then. It wasn't until her. Fiona. Slowly but surely, she was changing me. For the better. She gave me a reason to change. Every other person backstabbed me, never came back. Not her. She came back for me. She saw good what's little of good in me. And that was enough for her to pursue me. And thankfully, I changed for her. I married her. I made a child with her. And I'm gonna save our child for her. So yeah, there were bumps in the road after the change, but... In the end of the day, my life is better than it was back in the day. So maybe you are me. Or maybe you're just how everyone sees me back in the day. But it don't matter. I know I'll never be Blue Boy. And I know I never will. But I'm no longer you. And I'm no longer gonna be you ever again. Got a problem with that? Tough. I'm doing things my way. And that's the king of this world. <sighs> Fine. I just hope we live and don't regret it in the end of the day. Later. <sighs> I'll make sure we won't.
Cause in the end of the day, I'm signed to Hedgehog at his full potential.